Okay. The New Tarot Handbook <coughs> by Rachel Polk, Master the Meaning of Cards. And I'm pretty sure, I thought I'd done a review this, on this already, but I was looking at my stuff and apparently not. <coughs> um, I have about like, this, this is like one of like I think three books I have from her. So yeah, she's the real go to and for tarot. And I guess I'm only getting one view of tarot. Um not real one view, but like three out of maybe ten or so books of on tarot are of her, so um, that might be somewhat hindering me, but anyway, so, uh, that's a nice little introduction. So she starts off like any other, starts talking about the Major Arcania, and So, she gets, this is how she um, divides looking at the cards. She'll have the card, um, keywords, um, depending on the card, um, up to a page, page and a half, talking about it, um, talking about um, this, the items in here, like, um, to stick over his shoulder, um, or um, many people seen the fool as the hero of the tarot, and talk, and she puts in um, what other people have said about the card. Um, she'll put in quotes from A. E. White into um, the cards, since. She is using, like everybody else, using his deck because it is the common deck. Um, at the end, she'll put um, the meanings um, upright and reversed. Um, so if you use both um, upright and reversed, the meanings are there. And if you just use um, upright meanings in your readings, you can just cancel out what she has to for reversed. Um, and she also has a reading for each of the cards. So a reading for the fool, um, that's what it looks like. And again, she'll have what each number, um, number's question is. So like number one, how do, uh, um, how have I been a fool in my life? Um, how has it helped me? hurt me? Um, where in my life do I need to be more foolish? Where will the fool not serve me? What gifts does the fool bring me? So those are the six um, for the reading. So once again, um, she'll go on. She, that's for the magician. Um, yeah, so it would be like that for everyone so um yeah so there's the hangman I'm reading for the hangman so now um once you skipped all the like hundred pages of the mi major you get into minor oh sorry. And once again, she'll talk about the minor and she'll go into the suits. So, um, quick overview of their qualities and then she'll get into the numbers and then she'll go in, like she did before, she'll go, um, starting with the wands. 
the picture with, oh, uh, sorry, I know I'm keeping touching my nose, um, but for the wands, you got the element, um, theme, so for wands, she has fire, and then pure energy, um, a suit, a gift, and then she'll do, um, the talking, and then, then she'll do the meanings. Um, she won't do a reading for each of the card, but she will do a reading for the suit. So each of the ma major arcana has a, a reading for um, its own card, but for this um, suit, it's for the entire suit, not for an individual card. So it'll go on like that, um, cups, swords, and then the pentacles. And then, um, to divide it even more, she'll, um, put it, um, the core cards, uh, she separated the core cards. So, once again, um, a little talking and then there's a little diagram, so. There. And then, um, once again, starting with the wands, she'll have um, element, elemental combination, physical quality, theme, um, small talk, and then the meanings. And so, it'll go on like that for the other ones, so. And so, um, a reading inspired by the core cards. And then, um, she talks about readings. Um, she, she has a few spreads. Um, yeah, and then she goes on to this, um, like, two page of, or their study, and she starts off with the tarot is the best teacher, period. Just looking at the pictures, especially in the spread, will open your mind to new ideas and your heart, to depths of feeling, even spiritual awakening. At the same time, a vast tradition has been built up on the cards. They are the only not quite 600 years old, are only not quite 600 years old, but much of their symbolism draws on mythology and ideas and practices that go back thousands of years. And so she'll talk about, she talks about um, stuff that has been brought into them. Um, this book, um, while it works as a beginner's entry to the, to the to, uh, to the deck, it actually and uh, is actually intended to still over forty years of study, teaching, and professional as well as personal reading. Before this, I did the opposite. That is, I tried to lay out in detail all that I've learned of those four decades. Uh, readers of the new Tarot Handbook will seek, who seek to go, go further may want to read the larger work, Tarot of Wisdom. Of course, an indispensable work of understanding of the Ritter Whitesmith cards is, the, is Wade's own book, The Pictorial Key to the Tarot. And so, she goes on like, like that. Um, I did like it, um, so, um, it was more straight to the point, um, though, a uh, few bits here and there, um, a few things that she added in here, I felt like she didn't need to add, but that's just me. Other people could think, yeah, she could have added more or whatever. But, yeah, um, like, to me, she didn't need to do a uh, reading for, um, to do the readings, um, for the cards. 
um, if she, um, if people, like to me, if she wanted that, um, information, she could have said, um, hey, go to my website to get the, the readings, these readings. But, yeah, um, overall, um, with the minor things here and there, it is a pretty good book to at least, um, have a look over if you don't, if you're not sure if you want to add it to your own library. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's my point there, so. Once again, that's what it looks like. Okay, New Tarot Handbook by Rachel Pollock. So, happy readings.